Good afternoon, soccer fans. Welcome to today's live broadcast of NCAA Division II non-conference men's soccer. It's the visiting University of Bridgeport Purple Knights and the home team, the Wilmington University Wildcats. Wildcats. Jay Abreu over to take the corner on the near side here for the Purple Knights. His ball into the box. Back post headed goal. Good service and an even better header and goal there. Yeah, it was a really well-timed leap by the uh, Bridgeport player and an excellent uh, back post cross. Gerard passes it back to Romero. Romero left-footed hooking shot. And Frank Hall does a nice job to get that one hopper about a foot away from him. It, he had to dive to his right a little bit. but Great hustle by Jordan Ellison to win it back in uh, Bridgeport's end. Now, ooh, crossing the box. Who's there? And ah. it gets knocked out of bounds. I think the ball got caught in between Juan Bernal and Lance Berry. Both make it a run into the box, and neither could decide early enough who was going to take it. Bridgeport defender. Berry in the corner. Montini. Bernal in the box. Left foot a shot. Just misses that far post. Yeah. JJ Nau. With it on his right foot, plays it up to Stephen O'Connor. And a foul just outside the box. Wildcats want to play on there as J.J. Nau ended up with the ball at the off that near post. And it's J.J. Nau. His shot tucks into the corner for a goal. Very, very nice. Uh, very nice in-swinging free kick by J.J. there. At no point was that not going in the far post. We had a great angle up here from the booth. You know, the best chance of keeping possession coming out. JJ now down the far side, beats his defender to the end line. Oh, Stephen O'Connor. Yeah, and then Stephen O'Connor just, uh, he wants it back right outside the six yard box with a defender coming, just one times it over. Yeah, great hustle and recovery by Pedro coming all the way back to the top of his own 18 to uh, to win that ball. Bruno Montini, play on, says the referee. And now it's out to Nauwu. Nauwu's in on the keeper. His shot saved. And no rebound from Prados. It'll be Jay Abreu, center midfielder for the Purple Knights, going over to take the uh, the kick. Near post this time, headed on, and another goal. So two corner kick goals for Bridgeport. Uh, that one change is Jose Arias. He was uh, waiting at the far side to be subbed in late in that half for about three minutes. Oh, off the crossbar by his own defender. Yeah. Just good. didn't have the angle there. Yeah, Bridgeport, when they realize that they don't have numbers behind the ball, they do a good job to rectify. They certainly have a lot of people working hard to get back. Debenham splits his defender. Still on the ball into the box now. Debenham, hard ball in off the defender. And Prados had to make a diving save back to the near post to knock it out of bounds. And I really hope that yeah, I mean might, he, he might be able it was to. A great, it was a great effort. And it certainly, uh, I mean, might be able to call it a shot. Right. Um, Even though his initial ball wasn't going on frame. No. Now Tash in the box, uses speed, stops and puts that one in. Off the deflection of Prados. So just like that, Tash uses his speed. Yeah, the Bridgeport seemed very comfortable in their like bend but don't break defense kind of around the box. And then it was a simple little ball into Tash and under under uh, Prados' arm. Sorry for Bridgeport there in the middle of the field. Ooh, looking for the far post. Now we're over to Fawcett. And that is a goal. It was a slow build-up. I'm not sure it was Zach and Tunde all the way. And a double switch there. I think the uh, Bridgeport defenders might have been a little fatigued after all that offense. And uh, they assumed they assumed Prado was going to come out and, and get that ball. They didn't even track Fawcett on the far post. And then JJ, with a great run, finds it first. And then just with some composure, slots it right across. With a minute 40, he's got a free kick opportunity here. Four-man wall. Frank Hall in goal. He's going to take it with his right foot as Romero looks to maybe get it short. 
Ball to the back post, headed away at Contunde, the smallest guy in the box. Yeah, it was not a shot, and it did not beat the first defender, Akintunde, the shortest man up front, and he clears it away. And that's the final, 3-2. to two. With the win, the Wildcats improve to 9-6 and six overall. Bridgeport falls to 4-8 overall in this non-conference contest.